Hey everyone, this is Max from CG Max 7 and in this tutorial we're going to learn about the basics of ZBrush 4R8, so let's get started. Alright, so my interface looks a little bit different than yours, so for the interface tutorial you can check the, out the link in the description below and once you change your interfaces you can come back over here and go along with me however when you open the zbrush you always get this light box open so uh, these are the project folders that you can select anyone and by the way i'm using vacom tablet so it is recommended that you are using the tablet with the zbrush i would not recommend that working with the mouse because it's a terrible idea to be frankly but uh, once you get the tablet you can come over here and get started so what i'm going to do is just select a project folder over here and i'm going to select this dynavex 128 and just double tap over here and it will ask me to uh, currently project which you want to save it which i don't want it so i'm going to hit no and once it's open it's going to look like this so uh, for the navigation you can hold down alt and click on this empty area and you can pan it if I let it go the alt I can zoom in and out if I click on this empty area again it, I can just tumble it I can do the same over here if I just click on this button I can just move I can zoom in and out I can rotate I can even turn off the floor if you just click over here you can turn it off I can turn off the perspective as you can see and if I go all the way down there is a function called poly F it shows the wireframe on your object the shortcut key is for shift F and you can try I'm going to turn on the perspective and just hold on alt and just zoom in and if I wanted to snap it to the front, I can hold on shift and just move my um, cursor a little bit. If I want to go with the side view, I can hit hold on shift and it will be snapped onto the side view. There you go. So the first brush I'm going to introduce is the move tool. So you can hit B and you get plenty of brushes over here and you can try all these brushes but I'm going to hit M and it will give me the series of the M brushes which is also included the move brush so we have the two move brush over here move topology and move tool so I'm going to select this move topology and I'm going to hold on spacebar to change my draw size I can also hit S uh, for the draw size however I already changed my shortcut keys over here so I'm going to stick with the spacebar and in, in, um, just increase my draw size a little bit and once I put my cursor onto the object now I'm not clicking over here I'm just hovering onto this object and you will notice there are two dots over here that means my symmetry is on I can turn on and off my symmetry by hitting X and you will notice that all of a sudden my symmetry is gone so I'm going to turn on my symmetry and just zoom it a little bit out and just click over here and just drag it out. Now it's important that you have a nice um, angle of the model. So whenever you are uh, sculpting any object, always get a nice view of the um, your model. So I'm just going to bring it a little bit upwards and I'm going to go to my top view and hold down shift to snap it just bring it in maybe to a little bit front and from the back a little bit just doing a random sculpt nothing big once I got this then I can just decrease my draw size and from over here I'm going to hold down alt so I can dig in to the base mesh now I know it's looked weird but trust me it's just a base mesh once we go, go along it's going to look nice and uh, the second brush I want to infuse is hold on B and you can hit C for the clay buildup and you can hit this brush and just start the sculpting over here as you can see okay. 
so we can go through it and just sculpt anything whatever we want it there you go okay now the only thing I want to introduce is the masking so for the masking you can hit control and just you will notice my cursor has been changed to the red to yellow and I can just click on the model and it will be start the masking so that means I can't sculpt over here now I can invert the mask by just hold down control and tapping outside of the area and what I can do is I can hit W for the move tool and you can come over here as well from for the move scale rotate so I'm going to use my move tool and just click on this arrow and just bring it down there we go now I'm going to hit the Q for the draw so that I can draw on the brush and I'm going to select my move tool now I already assigned the shortcut key over here and I'm going to hit one for the move tool and just drag it out and just drag it out from the back as well okay there we go hold on control to invert the mask and now if I hold on shift I can smooth this object and you will notice when I hit the shift my cursor get changed to the blue so I can smooth this object and I can do randomly give shaping over here as well just just giving a nice shape over here and I'm just sculpting like this so nothing fancy about it I'm going to remove my mask by hitting control and just drag it out so I can remove the mask and I can go further and further but like I said this is the basic tutorial I want creating the whole character over here but you can go along now I'm digging with this inside of the geometry by holding down alt and in here as well just giving a nice shape over here okay and you can go further and further just one more quick tip if you hit the B key you can select the IM brushes which is pretty useful so if I click over here and I get these different different primitives that I can use so I'm going to select this let's say this sphere and just double tap it just click over here for the eye and hold down shift to constrain it I'm going to do it again there you go and you can see now we got a eye I know it looks a little bit weird but like I said this is just a basic tutorial for you guys that you can start up with the model and you can put your creative part over here so once we got this uh, sphere we can hold down control and drag it out and drag it out again so what I did over here that was a dynamish so when you open this uh, ZBrush 4 R8 Dynamex 128 you always get a dynamesh open so what exactly the dynamesh is so let's go to the geometry and go all the way down and if you click on this dynamesh you will notice this dynamesh button is by default on so dynamesh is allow you to if you let's say stretch the geometry and like like this if you notice and I'm going to hit shift F to just see the wireframe and you will notice that this area is pretty low poly and this area is pretty dense over here the mesh is quite dense over here so if I try to sculpt over here on this area let's select the clay build up and if I try it notice this how the jaggedness is going on over here so this is problematic if you, I want to you know inc uh, you know go further with my sculpt I can't do this so once the dynamic is on, I can hold down control and click on this empty here and just let it go. You will notice this, this gets a little bit changed so I can sculpt a little bit more further now. See that how it gives me the nice resolution over here. So I can stretch as much as I want. If I go to my move tool, just bring it out and again, control, drag it out. It gives you the 
Dynamesh. Now you can increase the resolution by clicking on the slider. And you can also try with this polish that gives you the nice crease and more like a mechanical. So you can turn it on and just control and just let it go. So it's not a big difference, but if you see, if I just turn off this, you can see the difference. There you go. So with this, you can start with your model and you can go further and further, obviously. Now, like I said, this is just a basic tutorial. So I'm going to stop this lesson right now. So I hope this tutorial was pretty useful about ZBrush. And uh, if you have any question, just leave in the comment section below. Now for the ZBrush for R8, the techniques which I show you, uh, you can create something like this. This is all done with the Dynamesh and uh, you can go further and further obviously the texturing part was done with the poly painting which i'm going to make another tutorial for that but if you have any questions please leave in the comment section below and i hope this tutorial was pretty useful so um make sure to like this subscribe it and share it more i'm going to make more tutorials pretty soon and if you have any requirements just let me know so i'm going to make more so happy zero brush Oh, 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 oh,